After the weekend of unpacking the truck and getting out the first 10 2015 model kayaks to our customers, we've decided to bring them down to the water so that you can see a side-by-side -side comparison between 2014 and 2015. We're going to start with the Outback and in the overall hull, exterior hull design there isn't very much of a change. Where the main changes within the hull come is within the cockpit area here and obviously you're all aware of the new CT seat. With the 2014 model you had a fixed handle and a webbed handle. On the new 2015, we now have two soft gripped handles on the inside of the hull, which is perfectly balanced when you want to lift it up and put it onto roof racks. Within the actual cockpit itself, the 2014 was heavily ribbed for paddling as well as pedaling. In the 2015 model, very light ribbing along the sides and a much bigger flatter area for you to stand. Also, in the 2014 model, it had a little storage pocket here. That has been removed to allow for the hull to be flatter, and now you have two storage pockets either side. This is perfect for any of your soft plastics and any other gear you want to carry. The Lowrance Ready was set up within the two two wells on either side is now set up inside these two stowage pockets which allows for you to store your, your cables when the sound is not in use. Comfort, well that's what the CT seat is all about. You're now a lot higher and drier with many adjustments that can make to make you completely comfortable. And the other important thing about the seat being higher too is it is a lot easier now to get up and stand if you want to do some, some casting. The seat can adjust forward or back to get the right angle. You also have lumbar support at the back so that you can create the right tension for your back support. Then the CT seat has the ability to be raised up to a much higher level. So similar with the Pro Angler series, you can now get up and really sight fish well. And while in the seat, by just changing your balance of your weight, you can Drop it down to any of the th four settings that are available. Okay, just takes you a little bit of time to get used to getting your balance right when you're forward in the seat. But we'll give it a stability test. I originally thought that being in the high position in both the Revolution and the Outback, you, you would feel Hippie, but you can see by the way we're rocking now that there's no worries at all with the stability in the upper position. Let's see how we go sitting sideways if we can access the rear hatch. Yeah, we can get in the cargo hold very well from this position. And even sitting sideways, everything is still rock solid stable. And standing up. Cool. But I, th I believe that with this seat, as with the Pro Angler, your life jacket selection is going to be very important. In the high position, still comfortable to sit sideways to put a fish nasty behind you. release some of the tension on the lumbar support and then this life jacket it's feeling comfortable I'm 
definitely convinced that the the glide technology on the Mirage Drive in the 2015 model is equally as good as what the old version of the turbo fins. I think if you're going to be using it in in areas where you've got a lot of shallow ground there may not be the need to upgrade but I would suggest that if you're a, an outback fisherman using it with a friend that's got a Revo maybe you go to the turbos just to keep up with them. When I was in the Revo I quite liked having the seat raised. I felt that it was such an improvement in the action. Definitely don't feel it in the carbs like you can do on this when you're actually sitting in the 2014 model. They say 10% more efficient. I think that's uh, pretty conservative. 